Hey everyone, this is Danny Fraud Montana and you're here for an EG Pro Tip Series brought to you by MSI Notebook. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to op A on DE Inferno and this has basically been my area of expertise for a very long time. B has been somewhere where I like to play every now and then, maybe switch it up a little bit, but playing A is somewhere where I've normally been stationed for, you know, eight, nine years playing the same exact positions the whole time. So right now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the many positions that you can hold such as the arches, library, and hallway. And also whether you should be aggressive or passive in these certain situations because of the fact that you don't want to basically get picked early on in the round and leave your teammates with a, a 2v4 or 2v5 in the bigger bomb site because Inferno is such a spread out map where you have to stay alive and be effective in every moment of the round. But right now I'm going to go ahead and take you in game my MSI G Series notebook. I'm going to show you some of the many tricks that you, and tricks and positions that you can hold. The first one, obviously, is the archway. The reason why I like this position the most is because it's a very it's a very safe position and somewhere where you can't really get killed from too much. So obviously, what you want to do is you want to get in positions such as this, where you can just easily hold <clears throat> the run up. I like to double zoom in this angle more than single zoom because of the fact that. Since this is the only place that they can come from, you can be a lot more zoomed in and be more concentrated in just this area. If you're single zoomed, any small flick shot will take you to shoot through the wall, which can turn out to be a bad thing because you only ha can take like one or two shots from here at most, unless you're on a roll when you're killing several people. But when you're in a position like this, you want to definitely double zoom. And especially if teams know that you're, you're going to be opping mid, they're going to throw a smoke grenade about there and whatnot, which is not going to allow you to do much. But right now, if you can see, you can see this little white outline through the smoke. Th what this does is it allows you to see two different color contrasts within the smoke grenade. One would be the white part, which is under it, and one would be the, I guess, you know, orange and red part above it. The reason why this is very good is because when someone runs through this angle, through a smoke grenade, you're going to be able to see the different shadow in the character from the fact that it pops out through the white, the whiteness of this wall as well as the darkness of that wall. So that's very effective and something that you can do. And one of the main things that you can do is just take a shot and run away or hide back here and cut off an angle such as this. Or, you know, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how to play aggressive and passive, but one of the things that you can mainly do is run away from here and run in the library, which is a spot that I'm going to show you after this. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you and, and explain to you when it's good to be aggressive or passive in the middle or in, towards the middle. If, if you throw smoke grenades from here, the reason why you can peek this is because you can double zoom again and see people w walking up through these certain angles. But if your teammate also throws a smoke grenade, you can be very aggressive in certain positions such as this and peek down secondary and run away. The reason why this is very effective is because of the fact that you, you will basically be covered from middle and teams don't necessarily like walking through the smoke grenade so you can have one of your teammates protecting you. This will allow you to go a little bit aggressive and take a shot. You don't want to be too aggressive where you try and basically end the round or kill two or three guys with that. You want to take one shot, whether you kill someone or not, your objective is done because now you've scared them and imposed an aggressive image to them which now is going to make them afraid to uh, do certain strategies and play a certain way in many different positions and strategies that they have. So obviously doing that a couple times in the round is, or in the half is very strong, but also playing passive and being deceptive is very strong too. You want them to have to find out where you're playing with an op. So if you're playing passive, you're able to have them sh you know, basically walk into your angle and get a kill, and they're going to have to give you a free kill in order to know where you're playing from. So being able to be passive has those advantages uh, built in with that. Now, the next thing I want to explain to you is how to opt from the library. The reason why this is a very good spot is because it's somewhere where you want to fall back to after playing middle or arches, and maybe you want to play with low HP. The reason why this is good is because you can hold an angle such as this, and it's basically meant to cover the wrap uh, uh, on the small pit and A. The reason why this is good too is because if someone runs past your angle or they throw smoke grenades, you can take a shot and you can also throw flashbangs like this the, but, and then peek with them too. But the main thing that you want to do with that is you want to be able to give the communication to your teammates and say, and say, hey, they're throwing smoke grenades, I can't see from library, they're possibly going to wrap. 
by knowing that, your teammates should be able to throw flashbangs potentially from the bomb site into this corner or something, and that will allow you to peek as well and clear more spots from the wrap. Obviously, you can't really do too much in certain situations, so you may want to go to this angle, which this angle is an extremely effective angle uh, to go to when teams are not wrapping. If teams are up middle and your teammates are saying, hey, they're coming into the bomb site now, they're not wrapping, then you can take an angle like this, aim as far left as possible, and when teams or T's like to run through this angle, you can just click and easily kill them because they're running through this angle. Also, if they like to jump, all you really have to do is aim up a little bit to make sure that you shoot them above the box because, you know, since there's two or three boxes that are being stacked up in that bomb site, you're going to do very, very little damage, if any, at all. So you want to make sure to do as much damage as you possibly can or do things like throw flashbangs like that where it can blow up, you know, in that corner where your teammates can go ahead and hide. Once your flashbang comes, they can peek and be effective with it. And that's basically what you can really do in the, the main points of opping library. But right now I'm going to go ahead and explain to you opping the hallway. Obviously it can be a good or a bad idea, or it can be something that you're saying to yourself, well, I don't really know if opping halls is a good idea because you're basically on the complete opposite end of the map and you're locking down one little walkway. Obviously, you know, you can think of it like that and it could be a negative thing, but also you have to look at it in the way of comboing it with other things. If you're just going to play arches and take a couple shots middle, there's no need for you to be opping halls because of the fact that you might as well stay in your position. Teams can rush hallway and you need to be there prepared early. So something that I like to do is I like to, if I have a really good spawn, I like to take a peak middle, take a shot, and then run to hallway because this is all in one motion and you're, you can even still beat your teammate who will be playing a hall normally because of the fact you had a good spawn and ran through, basically ran through to this angle. So obviously this is very powerful and the reason why you want to op hall every now and then is because of the fact that you want to switch it up. You want to be able to hold this angle like this and get a free kill and, and then have them say, okay, well, the opera's hall now, we have to go somewhere else. But you can easily get a pick and leave that area and then go back to op the hallway or, or the arches. Opping halls is somewhere where you want to get a pick and run away because you've basically imposed a certain image rather than uh, it, it's not like a position like archway where you can use smoke grenades and flashbangs to keep peeking and whatnot. The hallway is so secluded and tight that if teams throw three to four grenades down the hallway, you're easily going to die and you're going to be taken out within seconds of the round, which is something that you don't want to do. So being able to do that in opping halls, getting a pick and running away and going to positions such as library, arches, or even small pit is extremely powerful because of the fact that you can stay alive as well as keep the, the offense guessing. You don't ever want them to get a feel for where you're playing or how you're playing. And playing or opping positions like B and Hall is completely different from opping arches, which is something that I normally would do. So for me, opping hallway and opping B is a good way of throwing the teams off guard because of the fact that they're going to expect me to be in one position always rather than being in you know these awkward and more different positions that are left more for riflers. But that's basically been a, a breakdown of how to opt the A bomb site. And for more information on MSI, you can check them out at msimobile.com. And for more information around Team EG and all the videos that we've done and tournaments that we're going to, you can check us out at www.myeg.net.